Hey guys, it's Tate. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be taking you through one of my all-time favorite plant nurseries, Fatigans in upstate New York. Before we get started, please consider liking and subscribing. I am currently up here visiting my grandpa who lives just outside of Albany, New York, and I stumbled upon this nursery one day randomly while going to big box stores, and I found this place and it is now one of my favorite nurseries to go to. So I hope you enjoy this tour. Let's go check out some plants. So unfortunately there was some copyrighted music playing inside so I will be giving a narrated tour of Fatigans. So this is what you see when you first walk into the store. They have these adorable little logs with like Trantiscantia and garlic and asparagus fern in them. Then they have some potted Trantiscantia for $12, some parlor palms, and just a cute little display. Then you head down a ramp into the second space here on the left. We have a nice Monstera Deliciosa and a bunch of just trinkets and tchotchkes and candles and more plants and more stuff, some incense. Then over here, they had a bunch of really cool like geodes and crystals and rocks and stuff. And on here, there were a bunch of super cute pots. These were all for about five or six dollars. Then they had these adorable little staghorn ferns in marimo balls in little bowls, which is so adorable. They also had these awesome little pumpkins that they put little tiny succulents into. And I think that that's just the cutest little thing. So fall, so autumn, so solstice. <laughs> Here is a massive staghorn fern with nice shield fronds and a little hanging metal basket. They also have a bunch of plant t-shirts. This is where I got my mustard colored shirt that I wore in one of my most recent videos and some upstate New York hats. There's a ton of baskets and now we enter the plants. Right away you see a bunch of bromeliad. They are not really my thing, but they look super cute here. I guess it was bath time for a bunch of the air plants. They have tons of air plants, like tons. They're not really my thing, but I can appreciate a good air plant. Here are some African violets, Pilea peppermoides, big guys, tons of those. This is a Hawaiian pothos, I believe, in big hanging baskets with massive leaves. Here are some raindrop peperomia with, again, just huge leaves. And some little tiny Pilea peppermoidy babies and the two inch plant section, which I love just looking in here and seeing what kind of little plants they have. Some Diophenbachia, which I've never seen so tiny. They have some waffle plants, some Pilea, some little tiny parlor palms, some little tiny Syngonium and Peperomia, some Aurelia and False Aurelia. And it looks like down on the right there, there are some little tiny Tradescantias and just tons of little tiny ferns. Little tiny ferns, little tiny, tiny ferns. Here are the bromeliads that are at the front. Like I said, not really my thing, but they make them look so nice and the colors are just so vibrant. I love how they set these up here. Here are some polka dot plants and a bunch of philodendron something or other. I thought that these might be Xanadu or maybe Hope, Here are a bunch of gold pots made of solid gold. I'm kidding. Some orchids. Again, not a big fan, but I can seriously appreciate how beautiful those blooms are. Like, what? How is this nature? Literally insane. What? Here are a bunch more big staghorn ferns in pots and more hanging baskets of those as well. Some philodendron birkin, a bunch of them. 
This is what they look like when they get mature and start variegating. And I'm a big fan of these pots. They're made of bark and painted white to look like birch bark. And you can actually put a nursery pot in here and use it as a cover pot. Here are even more staghorn ferns. They have mounted ones and potted ones and more mounted ones on circles and mounted on rectangles. And they even have some marimo balls. Here we have a ton of narrow form Monstera adansonii in four inch pots. These are super cute. I love the delicate little fenestrations. A bunch of hanging green Hartley philodendron or philodendron heteraceum. Here are a bunch of philodendron xanadus. I've never owned one of these xanadus before, but I think they are super funky and they have a really great selection of them here. They also have this massive, some sort of philodendron here. I'm not exactly sure what kind it is, but the leaves are like three feet long at least. It's ridiculous. Round behind us, we have the Monstera section with some imposters. These are Raphidophora tetrasperma, which are commonly confused with Monstera because they have the same split leaves or fenestrations, but they're actually a Raphidophora, some of the biggest leaves I've seen on those before. We have even more hanging heteraceum baskets here, tons of those. Here's a nice Monstera. And this is a philodendron big fill for $100 for a massive plant. That's a pretty good deal. And then more ferns. Ferns and ferns and ferns. And some hanging ferns. And this I think is called a rabbit's foot. No, this is kangaroo paw fern. Here is a rabbit's foot fern, which has these crazy things that grow out of the pot around it. I'm not sure how I feel about those. They're kind of creepy and look like spiders. Over here we have some lemon lime philodendron. So heart-shaped philodendron, but lemon lime colored. And then back over here to the monster section again, we have a huge variety of different sized pots and some mature leaves with nice fenestrations for only $26 for a six inch pot, I believe, maybe even an eight inch or 10 inch, but, and then they have some smaller ones here in four inch pots. They're so beautiful. Over here is a massive pothos section. These are Scandapsis pictus exotica, which are commonly confused to be pothos, but they are Scandapsis. They are ridiculously beautiful for $20 each. I just love the shape of the leaves. I have multiples of those. These are a bunch of golden pothos. Then here we have some philodendron Brazil, which is a kind of heartly philodendron, but with some variegation on it. Some smaller heartly philodendron at a great price. And then up here we have some either pearls and jade or enjoy pothos, I'm not exactly sure. Then over here we have some more scandapsis. These are scandapsis pictus pixi... pictus argirius. Here are some neon pothos. They actually have some variegation on them. This is the Sansevieria section. I am not a big snake plant fan, but I can appreciate them. They have a great variety of them. There's so many different kinds of these. Look at those, and look at those, and look at those. Yeah, small ones, big ones, light ones, dark ones. I think these are called samurai, those ones on the bottom there. And they even have some moonshine. Then heading from the first greenhouse to the second, we pass some more beautiful Monstera Deliciosas. And we enter the second greenhouse. They have some adorable little bonsai plants that are in cute little pots like that. Turning around, we have even more little bonsais, tons of those. And then here are some marantas. These are Maranta Luconiora, or prayer plants. And a bunch of ivies and some begonias. I'm also not a big begonia person, but they're very pretty. Those colors are crazy vibrant. Flipping around to some plants that are more my style, here are some Peperomia, Peperomia Frost, Peperomia Piccolobanda. These are not Peperomia, they are Pilea. They are trying to get away with being Peperomia. Here's some Peperomia Obtusifolia variegata, and just a ton of watermelon Peperomia. Turning around, we have even more prayer plants, some Maranta, some Calathea, These are $24 for a pretty large, healthy looking plant. Some Calathea medallion, some rattlesnake Calathea. And then over here we have some 
aloe plants and then some weird looking aloe plants. And then behind every display, there is a massive group of just different kinds of trees. So there's Schifflera. They are these beautiful fiddle leaf figs that are some of the most gorgeous, well taken care of that I've ever seen. Over here we have some coffee plants and some Aglionema, or Chinese evergreen. Here's some Syngonium. And then the world of succulents. Those are some jade. They have a ton, a ton of string of dolphins for only $14 each. But they say plant nerds only one per person, but there is no shortage of those here. They also have a bunch of string of pearls and then just a ton of little tiny succulents. Above those, we have some Hoya Crimson Queen baskets, a little burrow's tail, and then a bunch of hanging baskets of string of dolphins, and then more on the other side. Here is a money tree plant, some more beautiful fiddly figs. This is a big money tree, the biggest one I think I've ever seen. And then whatever these are. They look like outdoor plants, so I don't really know what they are. <laughs> then there are some ponytail palms right there. Passing by, those are a bunch of cactus. And then a more of those succulents over here. They just have a great variety. They're pretty well stocked up today, too. Some more little cactus buddies. And they have these adorable succulents in concrete planters. They have little tiny two-inch ones that are just so adorable. And then they have bigger ones that are like bowls like that. There are some more cactus, some prickly pear, and some variegated cactus. Cactus also are not very much my thing, but I can appreciate that beautiful variegation on that. And then over here we have the Hoya section, to quote Jenna Marbles. Those are some Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. Here is a ridiculously sun-stressed Hoya Puba Calyx and some more Crimson Queen baskets. Here are some Shaflera and some Croton, more fiddly fig, some goldfish plants, which are called that because their little flowers look like goldfish. Then over here are just a bunch of ZZ plants in small sizes and big. These are some hanging Pilea glauca. I have a little two and a half inch pot of these and they're super cute. Then they actually have a ton of Trandoscantia nanook. Again, plant nerds only, one per person. These are great. Here are some fire sticks and some pickle plants. These are little fuzzy guys, they're so cute. And little four inch pots. And then leaving Greenhouse 2, we are going back through the gift section to Greenhouse 3. Bow, bow, bow. Greenhouse 3 has a bunch of big plants. Here is a cardboard palm, I believe. Cardboard fern, cardboard palm. Anyway, they feel like cardboard. Cardboard palm, yes, my first guess was right. Then here are some more palms. We have some carnivorous plants. A big old palm. If I had a big house, I would get a big palm like that. We have a lens flare and some anthurium. Here is a pitcher plant that is just super cool. They look really healthy too. They have three of those big guys. Here's some more bromeliad that look fine. I'm not sure what these guys are. These are, uh, let me see. These are fruiting fig trees, fig plants, fruiting fig plants for $24. Another big palm, that's a big guy. And then more palms, and more palms, and more fiddly fig, and more fiddly fig, and more, <laughs> so many. Yeah, this is super cool. I would love to have like a massive palm like that. Here's the clearance section of some little sad guys. Honestly, they're not that sad, and you could totally rehab any of these plants. It's not like they have pests or anything, they've just been through a hard time. Here's a little parlor palm next to the big guys. Passing some more filths. Here is the rubber tree section. This is a ficus audrey. 
Those are some Ficus Elastica green version, I believe. And the Fiddle Leaf Fig, which is actually a ficus itself. Here is a Ruby or Teneki rubber tree and some more Audrey's and some Burgundy rubber trees. Tons of those. Then over here we have some fruiting plants. Not really sure what those are, but they look cool. <laughs> and then some more palms. And now we're back outside. I'll show you some of the outdoor plants. They have mums, they have things that I don't know about because I don't really know what outdoor plants are. There's the beautiful place. They also have a ton of outdoor plants to the right of their store that is for like landscaping and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that was my trip to Fadigan. This is in upstate New York. It's one of my favorite. I come up here anytime I'm upstate. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I didn't end up buying anything. I probably would have bought some watermelon peperomia and maybe a Triniscantia nanook, but I am currently traveling, so I don't have space or time commitment to deal with these right now. But those are probably the two that I would have got. I hope you enjoyed this tour of a local plant nursery. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.